thank you, Dave. Thank you for everybody that came in. Um, at this time, uh, I'd like to introduce Violet Ruiz. She's from uh, Assemblyman 49th District, Ed Chow's office. She has a uh, rock donation certificate for the fire department. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Violet Ruiz. I'm a field representative for Assembly Member Ed Chow. And I want to thank the City of San Diego Fire Department for not letting us forget how important this day is to all of us. Um, it was very important for our office to come and be here because we know that today is a very impactful day and we will not forget. So thank you so much for hosting the 12th anniversary of this very important day in our history. So I'd like to present a certificate of recognition.
just want to come home and plant those purple flowers in the chair. That was the last time we heard her voice. And unfortunately, not knowing what was to come, he hung up. And of course, no one could come. Uh, she uh, had graduated from the University of Notre Dame. She had gone on to uh, get her master's degree at the University of uh, North Carolina. And then from there went to work. Uh, get her PhD at At the time she was in D.C., uh, she was actually speaking to the Federal Drug Administration about some new updates on some cures for cancer. So it's kind of ironic how uh, she was back in Washington, D.C. in an effort to save lives and ended up losing her own life. She was the first of a group of uh, Hispanic Latino uh, family, of our family who grew up in San Antonio, Texas and had always made us proud. And I always served as a role model not only for myself and my siblings, but numerous other uh, Latino youth. Uh, struggling to make make it through uh, through the American dream. So with that, I just want to, uh, with that little bit of background, I want to just read the congressional record that was entered by, at the time, Phil uh, Solis, now former uh, Secretary of Labor uh, with the Obama administration. Dorman Chocolate was an unfortunate victim of American Airlines Flight 77, which crashed into the Pentagon on September 11, 2000. Had Ms. Menchaka taken the later flight on which she was scheduled, she would have returned safely home to her husband, her five-year-old son, and, and her daughter. Her daughter, Imani, was away in college in Oregon, due to Ohio, and due to airport uh, shutdowns at the time, uh, she had to drive back to Portland, Oregon, to Los Angeles, uh, as quickly as possible. Sadly, Dora's life was cut short while she was working to save the life of others. Dora was in Washington, D.C., attending a briefing with the Food and Drug Administration on medical developments for patients with prostate cancer. She was, she was a dedicated scientist who worked tirelessly to find a cure for some of today's deadliest, deadliest diseases. Ironically, amongst, amidst the death, her co-workers remembered her laughter and energy. She could also be mater maternal towards others, urging them to get regular health care checkups. Her husband, Earl, says he owes his own life to his wife because at her insistence, uh, he, he, uh, died, he went to the doctor where he was di diagnosed with prostate cancer at an early stage and was able to be cured completely. She also gave back to the community, proud of her Mexican-American heritage, Dora often visited schools, encouraging students, especially minority girls, to pursue career in sciences. That is how she's done it in the today. Dora was an energetic, dedicated individual who believed in and lived to find a cure for diseases plaguing society. She was also a giving and loving wife and mother to her two children. Let us celebrate her memory this morning and every member and every morning from here on out to make sure that Dora and all the others who perished that day are never forgotten. Thank you very much.